Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Friday, I think, which means it is time for another nice watches shield hero. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, in the last episode, our boy, our boy wound up in a, in the fucking phantom zone with the opposite universe's hunting hero who can't really hurt anything that's not a monster, which really, like, someone posed the question in, 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 in the comments and like, yeah, how the fuck does that apply to demi-humans? If you can only affect beasts, and demi-humans are humans and beasts, well, they do like half damage, like, uh, yeah, so they're out and about in the main world, and apparently Raftalia is not supposed to be here. Raftalia is supposed to be off, having some character building happening. And they cut that out of the show. So... Ah... Uh, oh no. I'm gonna be honest, I am still very, very nervous about this show. Because... The first arc of this season. Fucking dog shit. Now this arc, I'm being told... That it's basically just going completely off the rails and writing essentially fan fiction. So, ha 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 ha. But let's find out just what the fuck they do wrong, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Ah, yes, the pagoda. Like, her, her, like, I understand her weapon being hunting tools. Like, it's supposed to be like, oh, yeah, no, here's, like, a cool, like, weapon thing. Nope, it's dad time, bitch! Time for dad. So she just didn't, she just didn't have that countdown the entire time? So this, this entire time, this entire time, like, has she, ha has she just had the fucking wave countdown? She's like, Wonder what that's about. Just like eats like a chocolate bar she brought. So if these guys have their own waves. So. Are they supposed- uh, are the people of this world supposed to fight the waves, but they just decided, okay, if we make this other world fail, the waves just end. And so they've just given up on it? Or- or is the countdown for, like, the invasion fucking timer? I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that capital's the one that locked her away, so I imagine they're probably not gonna hand over the hourglass. Oh, boy, it's... It's almost as if they're just doing season one again. Bruh. Fucking New Game Plus, my guy. Like, Jesus. Like, in games, New Game Plus is an interesting thing because, hey, you get to do the game again, but start with all your equipment. Alright, that's cool. That's fun. I like that. But not in fucking shows, goddammit! You can't New Game Plus a show! Fuck me! Oh, 
Oh my god, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Like... I, I, I don't... I'm trying to figure out the logic behind this, right? Like, hey, now Fumi made all this progress in the first season. He got all these shields. He got all these powers. He got all this shit. Alright, what do we do in season two? Okay, uh... We make him fight a really, really stupid fucking monster. With a really, really just dumb fucking story that he could have ended at any point. And then we're gonna reset him. Then we're gonna reset him to level fucking one. New game plus, motherfucker. Fucking knife -ears. We are the crystal gems. We always save the day. <laughs> what? What? Okay, so, so Glass and Therese are, like, actually from this world. Okay, then. Seems like they kind of suck as a species, then. Like, like, how are they gonna not be- if, like, if this world is so f Like, if these- if, like, if this world is so fucking war-torn, then how the fuck have the spirits not been wiped the fuck out? Like, holy shit. So, like, there seems to be a lot more diversity of races in this world. It's, that's weird. Like, the main world, you had humans and demi-humans, and that's it. But here you got fucking knife ears and shit. So it seems like this world just basically went full fucking weeb. I'm surprised at the people that got isekai to this world. I'm I, I'm surprised that the people of this world like they, they get isekai are they don't just isekai. They don't they don't just fucking isekai uh Europeans. That'd be funny. Like, fucking... All, all the Japanese people get isekai to fucking Naofumi's world, and then all of the fucking Europeans get isekai here. Oh no, she hungy. Oh no, she hungy. <laughs> She's a growing baby. Oh no.
Like, they're, they're just li Master fucking salesmen, these boys. Holy shit. This man's this like this man's literally came to a fantasy world. This man's came to a fantasy world and then just went, "All right, time to invent capitalism. Let's go." What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, they're just gonna keep throwing- Alright, try this, this one's a deadly poison! Oh fuck, I'm immortal now, my health bar just has an infinity symbol! They made a fucking gavel, holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this- these motherfuckers! Ah, <laughs> uh, say now, Fumi, don't you have a cousin in America? Ah, yes, Jeffy Bezos. Ah, uh, <laughs> um, cringe weeb shit. I see. So how long have they been locked away? Like how long has she, has she, has she been locked away? I don't get it. Like it sounds like she's been there for a while, but like she's best friends with Glass. Like how long have these vassal heroes been running around? Of course it does, dumbass. That's your shield's thing. Oh shit, they were oh. Oh, oh, she was Okay, I just realized what she's doing. Okay. Hey, Ma, the goddamn allosexuals are at it again. Man, they went from superior western swords to shitty fucking katanas. I can't believe it. I can't wait for someone to come in that doesn't actually recognize when I'm making when I'm when I'm making a joke. The 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 funny haha -ha meme. <coughs> Ow. I mean, wouldn't they say that it's the vassal hero? Like, oh yeah, it's the fucking book vassal hero. Oh no, it's an evil twink. Oh no.
Perhaps I'll perhaps I'll worry about it while I do this extremely weeby thing. Jesus. Start by finding an inn. I need some rested XP. Imagine if the imagine if the snowball just evaporated before touching Nafumi because his fucking defense was too high. Remember, Nafumi. No matter how she looks as she levels up, she's 12 years old. And it's a damn shame that they're, they're ho they got the cheap seats in the hotel, huh? They can't, they can't gather around the traditional American kotatsu <laughs> and eat their hamburgers. Yeah, and you're really fucking dull right now, Raftal. You gotta sharpen you on that whetstone, my guy. Like, levels matter! Jesus! Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna Mamoru his Nakamas. Man, good thing you paid for that fucking in-room then. I mean, now Fumi should be able to use it anyway. Oh shit, they bricked it up! How did they... Raftel, you can't just Roroni Kenshin that shit, my god! Like, you see you fucking turn the sword around! Okay, so what is your plan? Oh. Environmental damage, got it. So this thing's meant to be used for hunting, you know, I don't think tr I don't think a roof counts as a fucking prey animal? I don't know about that one. <sighs> How the fuck did they even set up these dead ends? How do they set up these fucking dead ends? Either that's a really shitty wall, or... <laughs> or or this uh, show's really applying the whole katanas can cut everything, glorious nippon steel shit. All 
I stationed fewer guards. Uh, there were... My guy... The guards in this room are less so than the ones that have been chasing them around. Are you on meth? Where is this? Is it just me or is Nafumi's like personality change from season one as well? Like you know, like <laughs> it feels like he it feels like he's just a little bit of it, like just a shitter, you know. Like I understand, like his life's going a little better, but like. I, like if he was if he was still a misanthrope, then yeah, no, that'd be one thing, right? But like, but now he's just kind of like a smirking prick. Well, so why didn't it work on Raftalia then? What? So why doesn't... Okay, okay, so I know they made this up. I know they made this up for the anime and in the show that she starts away from him. But like... Wow, this is dumb. And also, like, experiments, my guy, demi-humans exist in your world. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> Fuck! Bruh. Bruh, this is like my favorite show when it's season one. Like, holy shit. Oh god, the ball is being dropped so fucking hard. The ball is being dropped so fucking hard. Oh my god. Like, so... <sighs> I kind of wish y'all hadn't fucking told me that Raftalia, like, in the original story, isn't with him. But, like, ugh. But even, if, if, but even then, I'd be like, okay, but why, though? Like, why? Like, mmm. Mmm. Like, it's better than the Spirit Turtle arc, I will give you that. If Season 1 was a 10 out of 10, which it, it really wasn't, like, in the grand scheme of things, it was more like a, like a 9 out of 10, but that's still a higher... Like, I haven't run into a 10 out of 10 show. Actually, no, I have run into a 10 out of 10 show. You're gonna have to watch them all, haha. <laughs> Ugh. Coming, I was wondering why Philo's class had changed to that. I was wondering what the fuck that was about. Um, 
Yeah, so that's one. Okay. Okay, okay. So starting with what's good. If season one was a 10 out of 10, like on like the scale of like shield hero shit, Spirit Turtle arc was like the most mediocre fucking like five out of 10. Like, by the way, we're using my scale where zero is so bad it's good and 10 is like perfect, right? And then five is mediocre. Like, Turtle Arc was, like, the hardest fucking 5 out of 10 I've ever fucking seen. This is, like, better. It's, like, at the very least, hanging around 7, 7.5. But, like, man. Man, I really hope we can, like, push that number up by the end. Like, holy fuck. Um, okay, so... Okay, so starting with like the uh, with, with what what I liked, because there was shit I liked. So, so the fact that this world has like a completely different culture, that's fun. I do wish it wasn't just generic Earth culture. And by the way, like the main universe has that issue as well. But at the very least, the main Earth, it, like despite the fact it's European, it's like abstracted. Like, it's, it like, you know, like, it's, like, you've got, like, European-style architecture and shit like that, but, like, it's, it feels like it's Europe, but, like, viewed through a lens, if that makes sense. Which, I mean, it is, because it's a Japanese person writing about a culture they don't live in. You know, so as someone who has, who hails from a European culture, you can be, look at it and be like, Oh, that's weird. That's some Freaky Friday shit. Ooh, boy. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this world, like, it's just feudal Japan. As far as I can tell. Like, like, maybe, like, once we learn more about the world, it'll become a little more obvious. But the fact that it's just Japan, like, that's a little, eh. Like, maybe it could have been, like, China or, like, maybe, like, like South America or something. I don't fucking know. Um, but the fact that it, it is, does, it, it is exceedingly different culturally, that's fun. That's fun. I like that. That's cool. Kind of wish K K Kizuna, like, if, now that I know that this world is basically just fantasy Japan, kind of wish Kizuna was a European, because that'd be funny. This Kizuna shows up, it's like, hello there now, Fumi-sama, Hello! I come from England, I do. I had to learn your weird moon rune language when I came through the portal, I did. Fucking weird, that one. You must feel real lucky to be wound up in a, in a, wound up in an isekai thing, seems like everything's all Japanese. Well, actually, uh, Kizuna, uh, the one I went to is Europe. Oh, fuck, the Continentals, oh shit, that would have been worse. Like, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's not like, just like, it feels like some missed opportunities here, but I do appreciate that the cultures are different and everything's, and like, and the worlds very clearly have their differences in culture, design language, and, like, and even, like, the currency. Because, like, because, like, the lazy thing to do would be, like, oh, yeah, they use gold, coppers, and silver. You know, like, like that's just, like, the universal isekai thing. The fact that they didn't do that, that, that's fun. I like that. That's good. Um... Uh, Kizuna being, like, very, very creative with her, with her weapon. I like that as well. The fact that she can't hurt anyone, but she can, you know, dis like, cause, like, environmental damage. That's, that's good. I, I like that. It's a very creative use of her weapon, and it makes her not useful in a fight. That's good. Um, and just, like, the entire thing of Nafumi just selling these potions that specifically help one group of people, like, and just going, like, full fucking, like, stinky fucking stinky fucking merchant on it like that is honestly really great and i i just i just love that sly shit like like that really does feel a lot more like the now fumi of season one and i really feel like we've been missing that so far um like not that like i want now fumi just be a misanthrope forever but like he's kind of become a smirking bastard like this last season and I feel like that really is more in line with the other cardinal heroes, and that's part of the reason we fucking hate them. Because they're smirking bastards. Um, but, oh well. 
Uh, uh, just scrubbing through here. Um, yeah, just generally, like, a lot of, like, the interpersonal interactions here were actually pretty good. I enjoyed them quite a bit. Um, but I think where this episode falls apart and where, like, we start getting more into that 7.5 territory is the bit at the end. Like... Like, Kyo, it just so happens to be like, Ah, yes, now, Fumi, I knew you would be here, yes. I'm not on screen right now, but I'm here, I'm, yes, I'm hiding in the rafters like a fucking raccoon. Uh, yes, I've, I'm going to make it so that the, the hourglass can't transport demi-humans, yes. I'm going to take your little raccoon girl for experiment. Mm -hmm. And here's my twink. My twink shall defeat you. Go, Twink! Destroy him! Like, bruh. Bruh. And, like, why does he even benefit from having Raftali as an experiment? Fucking demi-humans exist in his fucking world. We established that earlier. The fuck, my guy? Like, like yeah, demi-humans look different here, but apparently they're basically the same. Fuck me. Ugh. Like, it just... Uh, it, it's just really, 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 really annoying. Because it, like, it, it just, it feels like this... As much as I hate it, I feel like the worst thing that they did here was throwing off the status quo of the waves. I think that is honestly one of, like, the worst thing they did. Because, the, like, the, they, they stopped the, the the waves get postponed back in, like, the world Nafumi went to. Okay, now fight the turtle. Worst arc. All right, now the waves can start again. Here, take this. Take this red soapstone. In you go, motherfucker. Like, <sighs> ah, it's just not great. It's just really, really not great. Like, like this is getting better, but it's still working off like a very, very shaky foundation. You know, like they they loaded into Minecraft. They didn't knock out the dirt below their house. They're building on dirt. They're building on dirt, man. You gotta knock that out and make some wood. Or cobble, at the very least. Holy shit. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, it's not as bad as the first arc. I will say that. Uh, I don't know, like, I feel like... And honestly, it seems like a lot of the issues I've been having so far are basically down to changes they made for the anime. Because a lot of this stems from shit that apparently was done a lot better in the book. And then, like, they've changed it here for some reason, and it just makes shit not make sense. You know, like, Raftalia was with Naofumi, okay, why? Like, yeah, we get to see Raftalia run around as a kid and get head padded and everything, but that, as cute as that is, that doesn't benefit the story at all. Uh, and now she's being taken away. Okay, did she get, like, captured by Kyo in the book, and they're just kind of, like, reorienting the story? If so, her getting captured by Kyo would make a lot more sense if she was on her own. If she was on her own as a child, it'd make it'd be very, very easy for Kyo to be like, "Oh, hey, it's that fucking raccoon kid." Put her in a put her in a satchel, throw her over my back. All right, off to the lab we go. Like she, like I don't fucking know. It, it feels like it really does. It just it feels borderline schizophrenic in some ways, and that's uh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, like, just general, like, generally, just, it's better than Turtle Arc, but nowhere near as good as Season 1. And that really makes me upset, because I, like, the second season should build off the first season, but instead, they've basically thrown everything out. They've thrown out all of Nafumi's progression, they've thrown out, and, and I mean, like, progression, like, as, as, like, power level kind of thing. So, like, now Fumi is fighting, like, a lot lower stakes shit. But also, he's been scaled down. Like, if your hero has to fight lower stakes shit than he's used to, find a way to make it interesting without nerfing the hero. Because that just makes all... That, that makes it, like... Ugh, that makes it feel cheap. That makes that makes the hero's progression and, and, and gain in strength feel arbitrary and that it can be taken away by the author at any point. Which, I mean, yeah, it can be, but doesn't mean you should. You know, like... Like, imagine if, like... 
you know what, fuck it, I'll use Dragon Ball as an example because it's the most power crept fucking thing ever, and like, an example of the opposite thing, the opposite extreme. Like, imagine if, like, Dragon Ball had, like, a slice of life episode where, like, Goku had to, like, Goku had to take care of something. Like, maybe, like, Go Gohan goes to school, and Gohan's getting bullied by another kid, and Gohan can't just kamehameha like a motherfucker to death, right? Like, this is Gohan, the kid who vaporized Perfect Cell. If he wanted to, he could turn that kid into fucking pink mist. And it would solve the problem. And, there'd, and if he did it quietly enough, no one would know. But murder is wrong. So, you don't depower Gohan. You just be like, okay, how does Gohan use his powers? Words are capable of incinerating a threat that could wipe out the galaxy given enough time. And put him in a situation where, like, he has to use these powers differently. You know? Like, put him in a situation where, like, okay, maybe instead of kamehameha a, a kid away, he uses chi in a different- his key in a different way to fucking, I don't know, fuck with the bully or whatever. I, I don't fucking know. It's off the top of my head. But, like, like, that's the thing. If you have a character that is, like, at a certain power level and you're like, oh, I want them to do this story, but they're too strong for it now. Give them a reason not to steamroll. Like, be it, like, there's someone with them that would be collateral damage, they have to be, like, on the down low. Like, imagine if Nafumi came in, and Nafumi had all of his power. He had all of his power in the other opposite world, right? And, but, like, Nafumi, like, decides to, like, cast a spell, and, like, he throws up an error message. It's, like, error. Uh, like, uh, fucking, this type of mana doesn't exist in this world. So now Fumi's like, oh shit, I can't cast this spell because instead of having, like, fire, water, earth mana, whatever, the okay, but I don't know how the mana works in Nafumi's world, I'm just, you know, making shit off the top of my head. So if, oh, oh, they don't have, like, fire, water, earth, uh, air mana here, shit, what do they have? What the fuck is umbral and astral mana? What the fuck? Like, you know? Like, have the world have, like, a different magic system? So now Nafumi has all his spells, but using the spells that he had back home is something he has to figure out. So, like, he still has all his shit, it's just a matter of, like, figuring out how to use it in the new world, right? Like, that's not a perfect solution, mind you, because I just came up with it off the top of my fucking head, but it'd be better, because then we're not, like, like, then he's like, okay, I, I can only re rely on my martial abilities. Oh, shit, all I can do is block and punch for one damage. Fuck, I don't have my spells. Shit. You know? And then, like, Raftalia, like, has to go fight, and it's like, uh, fuck, these, this, this, this these armors. Uh, my sword only does slashing damage, and, uh, these things are only weak against piercing damage. Shit. Because this is a world where katanas are the main weapon, and guess what katanas aren't generally used for? They're not used for piercing, they're more used for slashing. Generally. Bear in mind, you can stab with a katana, it's just not the most common usage. You know, so it's like, okay, R Raftalia, uh, he take this spear. Learn how to spear, Raftalia. You're now my spear instead of my sword. You know, and so on. Like, there's a bunch of little fixes they could do to make this... To make this better and, like, and depower Nafumi without depowering Nafumi, and instead, like... Having him teaching, having him try and figure out how to use his powers in a world that is foreign to him. Plenty of ways you could do it. What I said is just one possible option. But there you go. Overall, I would say that, that this this is better than Spirit Turtle Arc. It's fine. It's all right. God fucking damn it! Do I wish it was at season one's quality level? Holy fuck! But yes, yes, my opinion, dog. Local goblin says opinion. Everyone's everyone scream at her. Oh boy. But yeah, let me know what you think of this down there in the comments, whether you agree with me, you disagree with me, or you wanna bring up something I forgot to talk about, which is entirely possible. Oh boy. Um if you like this, remember to hit the like and the comment and all that good shit. If you want more content from me, then I do I I kinda scale back the anime thing, so it's not every day, but on uh Oh shit, I think it's I think it's Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Sundays we got anime. Uh so tomorrow so to today is a catch up day. But tomorrow we're
going to have Executioner's Way of Life. That's going to be fun. And today at 5, assuming this comes out on Friday, which God, I hope it does, or I look like a fucking idiot, um, we're going to be playing Final Fantasy Origin, Stranger of Paradise, starting that, continuing our playthrough of all the Final Fantasy games. Oh, boy. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe, share social media, all that good shit. If you want to support the channel, you can always use it through your Patreon, stream elements, member, YouTube memberships, all that good shit. Linked in the description. It is very late. I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> see you there, everybody. As always, I am Nazi the Goblin, and I will see you in the next video. Most of all, I will become a goblin today, and I will see you a rune down rune.